Hello, I'm Jose with Free Sky North America. In today's video, we're going to explain navigating with the buttons. Most people like to use the touch screen, but I find it's much more efficient to navigate your radio using the buttons. First, let me explain what each of the buttons do. Down here are your main navigational controls for your radio. Over here, you have a scroll wheel. And you can use this, so for example, in the models to scroll between items instead of touching it up there. In the center of the scroll wheel is the enter button. And you can use that to confirm a selection. So for example, if I'm here on mixes, I can hit enter to go into mixes. On this side over here, we have model, system, display, and return. And these emulate the functions down here, which is the shortcut functions to go into the model menu, the display menu, or the system menu. And the return is also emulated by the back arrow key over there. So if I wanted to go back one level, I can hit that over there, or I can hit the return button to go back a level. In the center, we have the page button, and you can use this to scroll between pages. So for example, my screen over here, I have three pages. I've got page one, page two, and page three. I'm gonna to go to page two, and then now you can use this button to go forward a page, and you can use the same button. Let me just go over here to the middle, and instead of going forward this time, if I hit and hold, it goes back a page. So you got forward, and you got back by holding it. So that's a nice, easy way to do your navigation. That's the basic navigation. But these buttons also have other functions. One of them is the shortcuts. So over here, we can go into the model menu by hitting that. Or if we hit and hold, we can go to the model select page to choose another model. This is, I use that one all the time. The other one that is really, really convenient is what they have set up for display. So if I hit display, I can go to the configure screens page, which is the same as hitting over there. Or if I hit and hold, it goes to the outputs page. I use all this all the time when I'm programming uh, to see what my servos are doing when I set up a mix. I'll return and get out of that. And system again is going to the system menu, but I have it set up to go to device config. So if I hit and hold the system button, it'll go to my device config page. And people always ask me about this over here is how come I can't scroll? Because they have the scroll set up uh, for these functions over here, but these ones over here, like for example, I'm gonna set up a stabilized receiver. I gotta go over there. You can hit the button over there, or you can again use page to move forward or backwards in this menu. So I'm gonna to wanna to go to servos, I can just hit and hold to go backwards into that menu. And then now I can go over here and then scroll over to hit that. Um, seems like it's a little bit more work, but I swear once you get used to it, it's so much easier than trying to hit onto the screen over there. So that's the main modes. Now, notice I said that this one over here, we set up to be that way. The system, the model, and the display long presses you can assign it to go to whatever page that you want. And also display itself, um, the short press for, for display can be set up to any other page that you want to. Let's go ahead and go into that. So I'm gonna go over to system, hardware, and go over here to home key map. And at home key map, now look over here, I've got display short, right now goes to the configure screens. Display long goes to outputs. Model select, long press, um, or I'm sorry, model long press goes into model select, and system long press goes into device config. Now, this is not preset up when you get your radio. I set that up for myself, but it comes like this, where it's set up to nothing, like that, and now you can go in and sign it. So let's go ahead and sign that back to the device config page so that I can set up my stabilized receivers. You go over here to uh, system long press, click on that, and I want to go into the system menu. And then inside the system menu, I want to go over here and find device config. There it is. And there you go. That's how you set it up. Very easy. But that's how you set up. And you can go ahead and change the other ones to whatever you want. 
I like the setup that they have for the model and display um, things for the long press. I like the defaults. And then for system, I just go ahead and assign it device config. All right, one more function for the buttons that not a lot of people use, and I think it's a shame because it's so much easier to work with it, is inputting text. So let's go into model. I'm going to go over here to mixes, and let's change this one that says ailerons. So let's edit it. And then over here, let's go ahead and input text. So right now, what most people do is they come over here, they click in there, and then they delete characters. But in order to delete characters, you've got to be over at the beginning right there. So you, you end up hitting it a bunch of times until you get it right there, and then now you can go ahead and delete text. But the interesting thing that you can do is use the keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click over here. Now, the first thing is display and system. Once you're in text edit mode and the keyboard is up, become left and right cursor. So now I can move into wherever I want and then delete, add, or insert text. So over here, right now it says a la row. I want to add the N and the S. So first of all, I'm going to go over here. Obviously, for inputting the, key, uh, the text, the characters, it's better to use a keyboard. Um, but N and then S. There it goes. Oh, I missed. Look at that. I made a mistake. I put space in there instead. So what you can do is you can cursor over to in front of the area that you, that you want to edit. And then now, if I was to hit delete, which is the center button over here, we can delete text. And then now I can go ahead and add the N. There it is. So when you're in keyboard mode, you've got system and display to cursor left and right. The center button becomes delete. And then now, if you put a character in, it will insert it past where the cursor is. So the cursor to the right of the cursor is where it's going to um, insert it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything, which is what's really nice about just you know hitting um, the delete button. Doesn't You just go ahead and click on it, and then you start deleting. Um, and I'm going to type in ailerons. And I'm going to do it all caps. There it goes. Oh, I made a mistake. I actually wanted it to be lowercase for a bunch of characters. That's where model comes in. So again, I want the A to be capitalized and the rest of the characters to be lowercase. I can go over to the next character by hitting display and just hit model. And then next character, model, next character, model, next character, model, next character, model, and so on and so on until everything is what I want. There it is. So using this, when you're inputting text, makes it a lot simpler to start working with the text. All right, guys, that's it. Um, in my opinion, get used to learning how to navigate with the button and the scroll wheel, and you'll find that you are much quicker and much more accurate than trying to use the touch screen, especially for inputting text. Um, those little shortcuts over here do make a difference. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and email me at jose at freesky-rc.com or leave a comment in this video. Thank you very much, guys, and have a good night.